Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG, and today we're going to take a look at how to copy your, two, uh, your TQSL uh, program from an old computer to a new computer, all right? So this is going to be a pretty quick video, I think, so hang on to your hats because we're... Oh! Hey, while I'm thinking of it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, give me a like. And of course, any comments or questions, make them in the comments down below. With that, let's get on with it. Well, hi, everybody. It's Stu. Let's get on to doing this because this should be a fairly quick video. All right. So what the goal is here is to take a operational TQSL setup move it from one computer to another computer or copy it from one computer to another computer. So let's get started on that. Uh, first things first, what I need to do is I need to go to where the configuration files are stored on the old computer. So I'm going to go to backslash users backslash Whatever my user login name is, and it usually is listed in kind of a drop down here, in this case it's Stu, backslash app data. Now, you won't see anything with app data because it's a hidden folder, okay? Um, but if you type it in like this, all of a sudden you'll get to that hidden folder, and in that folder is a directory called roaming. And in the roaming directory, there'll be a trusted QSL directory. We're going to copy that. And I'm going to go over here, and I have a USB drive plugged in here, right here. I'm going to go ahead and right-hand mouse click it, and I am going to paste this file into it. All right? Now, let's get over on the new machine and go ahead and get this moved over and installed. All right, so we're over on the new computer. I am going to go up here uh, into the browser, and I am going to search for Q, uh, excuse me, TQSL download, and hit enter. And right at the top, this one is showing at www.arrl.org. That's the one I want. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I'm taken to the ARL website. And all right, there it is, MS Windows. And that's Go Now. I'm going to click on Go Now, and it's going to come right down here, and it's going to start downloading it. Now, since you're moving this, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on getting... TQSL installed, because it's not that big a deal. I mean, you've done it before, and pretty much it's all the defaults. Once it's downloaded, I'm just going to click on it and open it up. Let's go ahead and we can close my browser now, and I'll just take the defaults. And why do I take the defaults? Well, because that way I don't have to remember. And it's asking me if I want to uh, create a desktop shortcut. I'll do that, and we'll click install. It asks me to go ahead and approve it as an administrator. I don't want to read the quick start. And I'm just going to close this. Now, interestingly enough, I don't want to launch it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I plugged a USB drive in this. And I am going to open up the USB drive. And it's the same one that I copied the other one off of. And I'm going to right-hand mouse click and copy this over, and guess what? I am going to put in the same thing. I'm going to put in users, stu, app data, hit enter, there's roaming, and now I'm just going to right-hand mouse click and select paste. And there it is, in there, just that simple. I can go ahead and close this, double-click, do I want to read an introductory? No, I don't. And here we are. And I can look. There's my certificate. Let's take a look. There's my location. There's all my log stuff. 
So everything's there. That's all there is to it, to copying or moving the entire configuration over to a new PC. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. This is really important. If I go down here to call sign certificates and highlight this call sign, I have an option here. I can save the call sign certificate. Now why would I want to do that? Well, I'll tell you why. If my systems crash and I lose that certificate, if I don't have it anymore, I am going to have to go and deal with ARL and get a new signed one for Logbook of the World. And you remember what a big pain that was to start with. So I'm going to say, go ahead and save this. And it's going to ask me where I want to put it. And I'm going to put it, believe it or not, I am going to go over to that um, USB drive. And I am just going to click the default file names, my call sign. I'm going to click save. It's going to ask me for a passphrase to encrypt it. This is not a passphrase, um, um, you know, that you would use normally. And I'm not really concerned about it. I'm going to keep possession. Read up on what a passphrase actually does for an exported file. I'm just going to say, okay. And there we go. Now I have on that USB drive right here, I've got a full copy of my certificate. I'm going to swirl that away someplace where nobody can get to it and I remember where it is. And then I'll be able, to, in the event of a catastrophic failure, I'll be able to install and configure everything on uh, TQSL and then install the certificate and not even have to mess with Logbook of the World uh, or ARL to get a new cert. All right? So that's it, man. That's the whole thing. And uh, I have to tell you, I've got to thank you for joining me for this. And I hope this really helps you out. All right? I get a lot of requests about this, and this is just the easiest way to do it. Well, that easy. It's really not that hard. And you know what? Um, it's a good idea to back that key up because if you lose that, if you can't get it, you have to apply for a new one. And my gosh, do you remember how tough that was? So make a backup of it. Swirl it away someplace so you have it. All right? Anyway, hey, with that, I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please make them down below. I try to answer those questions uh, within a couple days. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> With that, this is Stu, AG6AG, and I hope to hear you on the air.